This is Exploring San Diego Live, and right now we are in Normal Heights doing a preview of the Adams Avenue Unplugged events. You obviously see the Normal Heights sign right behind me. This event is starting off in University Heights. It's going through Normal Heights in the heart of this community, okay? This is Adams Avenue. It's going to go all the way down toward Kensington. We are going to see 80 bands. They're going to be a part of this. 24 bars, restaurants, coffee shops, galleries, also a part of this and we're just gonna have a really good time so let's go inside we are at the rabbit hole right now and we have food we have a lot of people already here we actually have the general manager here to talk to us so well give us a little history of what's going on but first i mean let's zoom in on that food look at that burger oh the restaurants that are going to be a part of this i'm telling you that alone should sell you on this whole thing and on top of that you get to listen to really cool music as well i kind of had some of the french fries already so it's a little so there's a little less than what there, there was before, but it's okay. Let's go over to Stephen Troop. Thank you so much for being with us. We've had so much fun so far. Now, this is a pretty big event for Normal Heights. I feel like this is one of the bigger events that I've heard, Adams Avenue, Unplugged. Um, tell us a little bit about the history and how the rabbit hole became a part of it. Yeah, so uh, the Adams Avenue Unplugged event has been going on in one form or another for over 50 years. Uh, it started out as the San Diego Folk Music Festival uh, over at San Diego State. Uh, and in the 80s, it came over to Adams Avenue and we called it uh, the Roots Festival. Um, and then this is our eighth year now. We switched over the formats a little bit. Now it's called the Adams Avenue Unplugged. Um, but this whole two-mile corridor, we have a free trolley all day long. There's bands in... All of, all of the different venues. Uh, the Rabbit Hole has been a strong supporter of live music. We do live music three, four nights a week here already. Um, and so it's a great opportunity for us because we, lo we love music, so. That's awesome. We actually do have someone playing back there, Sarah Petit, who we're gonna talk to in just a little bit. Um, now let's talk about the different genres and all of the different acts. We also have a VIP experience that we wanna mention too. Absolutely. Uh, most of the uh, events are all free. Uh, there are two artists performing. Um, Gabby Marino at, and David Lindley, those cost $15 and $20 respectively um, at the uh, Normal Heights United Methodist Church. Um, there are still some tickets available, but they are moving, so. Awesome. So we're expecting foot traffic here. About 10,000 people is what I've been hearing. Going to be coming through Adams Avenue here. Um, let's talk about the parking situation here, just so everyone knows where they're going and what's available. So unfortunately with Adams Avenue, there is no parking structure. It is street parking. Um, so I always suggest to get here early, take ride sharing apps, um, take the bus. Um, but when you get here, there is, a, like as I said, a trolley that goes up and down the avenue. Okay. And I'm also kind of curious, how, how, I feel like Normal Heights, we have this street fair that happens later on in the year. We have this event. How did it kind of become this mecca for music? Um, you know, there's, a, I think, a lot of different factors. You know, the Adams Avenue Business Association has always used uh, music to help promote the neighborhood and all of our events. Um, and you get a lot of really cool uh, bars that have, you know, that, that have devoted themselves to live music. Um, and it, honestly, it's where a lot of musicians live. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she was telling me that she's been here for about 20 years mm -hmm. or so. So this is definitely a place where you want to be. It kicks off at noon Saturday, ends at 10 p.m. Now I'm assuming it gets pretty busy later on in the day. So do you have any suggestions for people as far as uh, walking shoes, comfortable shoes, what to wear? Absolutely. You know, fortunately the weather is going to be great. It's not going to be too hot like, you know, it can get up here sometimes later in the summer. Um, but be comfortable and make sure that your, your shoes are, are comfortable to walk around in. Because <laughs> it's a lot of blocks to cover. Absolutely. Like, as I said, it's about two miles uh, going back and forth. And with all the different bands, you're going to want to bounce around from venue to venue. And each on your website, you also have all the set times and everything. Because I know we have 24 restaurants, but we have 80 bands. So when you do the math there, right. I'm like, how does that fit? Right. So if you go to AdamsAvenueUnplugged.com, it'll have a listing of all of the uh, different uh, uh, restaurants, what time the bands will play, and more information. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Let's get a little tour of the rabbit hole if we can. So this is where we are. This is again out in the Normal Heights area. I just want to make sure Howder doesn't trip and fall right now, but it's okay. We have all these wonderful people who have been here already. You're a 10 News fan, aren't you? Yes, I am. You are. How long have you been a loyal viewer? Well, for about 30 years. 30 years. I like that. He's been recording us from behind the scenes, so I appreciate you being here. Are you coming to the Adams Avenue Unplugged event tomorrow? Absolutely, every year, and thank you for coming to our neighborhood. Aw, see, 
we're all about community here at 10 News for exploring San Diego live. All right, so we have one of the organizers here who doesn't want to be on camera, but he's in my shot now, so he's going to be on camera. He, I like how he just stepped away from that. This is Sarah Petit. She is one of the performers. She's going to be here tomorrow. So tell me where you're performing. We're, we're performing at the Old Sod tomorrow at 6 p.m. Okay. How long is your set? Um, it's 6 to 7 and 8 to 9, but we're pretty much going the whole time. Oh, nice. Yeah, so okay. we got a five-piece band. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, we're going to be playing in the booths, and oh, the nice. stage is really tiny. So. so cool. So tell me a little bit about yourself. I know you mentioned before um, you won a San Diego Music Award. What was that like? Um, You're like, <laughs> <laughs> I, love I, don't I love being recognized for my music. Yeah, no, it's, it's actually really nice. Um, I'm, I'm a songwriter, but I'm also a band leader, singer. And so, I don't know, is that, is that good? <laughs> You're amazing. How, how old were you when you first picked up your instrument? 23. 23, yeah. wow. Okay, so that's a lot older than I, I thought you were going to say like two or three. How does that even two happen? Two years ago. Wow. Just, just joking. Oh, <laughs> she fooled me. I got fooled. Hey, you know what? It's possible. It's, I'm gullible and I'm naive. I can admit it. Okay, so tell me the truth. Um, about what? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to move on because now I'm just confused and everyone's laughing at me here. So tell me a little bit about why you're a part of Adams Avenue Unplugged. Oh, okay. Um, well, I'm, I'm part of the Adams, Adam, Adams Avenue family, I guess. And um, there's a bunch of different musicians all over. And this is a really fun time of year. We get to all run into each other and see each other's shows and stuff like that. So, so what is it like for a musician to see other musicians perform? Um, Do you feed off the energy? I do, I do. Like it's 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 kind of um, I love being around creativity and different artists. You know, when there's another artist in the room, you always kind of gravitate towards your kind of own misfitness, I guess. I like it. Yeah. Misfit. Yeah. All right, so you're gonna play something for us. We're gonna let you do an entire song. So I'm gonna move out of the way. Okay. What's the name of the song? Um, I just keep moving on. Okay. I'm gonna keep moving on out of her way. <laughs>
I need to know the inspiration behind that song. Um, there's a, the civil rights leader, John Lewis, was the inspiration and also just part of my life. So. Thank you so much. We might have you play again okay. in just a little bit if that's okay. We're going to go back and talk to Steven to talk more about Adams Avenue Unplugged, which you are about. So I'm going to let you hang out with him for just a second. <laughs> Let's go back on over here. So we have this poster talking about the free musical walkabout. Take a look at the list. This is the entire list of all of the performers as long as well as the headliners. Tell me a little bit about the headliners and the VIP experience one more time. Well, yeah, um, Gabby Marino is is a wonderful artist. She's up and coming. She's won Latin Grammy Awards. She's um, actually, I just found out today, she actually uh, created the um, the theme song to the show Parks and Recreation. Oh, wow. Um, but she's super, super talented. Um, and then David Lindley, I mean, just a simple search of his name, you'll find all of his accolades. He's performed with every musician under the sun. I mean, missing out on these two people, you'll kick yourself. I feel like um, I saw some video from the event from last year and the year before. Um, there were some celebrities that came through. We had some major artists come through here too, just kind of to hang out. What does that do for the Normal Heights community? Well, you know, we, we love having that kind of stuff because, you know, this is such a small neighborhood, but anytime we get any of that happening, you know, obviously it builds the neighborhood up. Um, but yeah, we get celebrities sometimes walking around. Hey, from up. But all in all, it's a great way to kind of actually meet the artists and actually maybe rub elbows with them. That's so cool. I was going to say, I feel like you can meet a lot of people if you were to come to this event, just people who enjoy music, just people who enjoy food and all that good stuff. Absolutely. I mean, there'll be there'll be uh, families out here, kids, and then as it goes on through the night, um, it, you know, it just turns into a great party. Cool. So I want to remind you, if you're just tuning in right now, if you just logged into your favorite streaming device, we are doing a preview right now of Adams Avenue Unplugged. This is an event that's happening tomorrow, kicks off at noon until 10 p.m. It's taking over all of Normal Heights. It starts off in University Heights, goes through Normal Heights, goes down all the way toward the Kensington area. It's a two-mile stretch. We're expecting expecting 10,000 people total. So wear comfortable shoes if you're going to be one of those 10,000 people. Ladies, I'm talking to you. Ditch those heels and wear those sneakers, okay? Dress comfortably. Enjoy yourself. It's a free event. Parking is neighborhood parking. Unfortunately, there's no structure here, but that shouldn't deter you from coming because you can go ahead and find neighborhood parking. You can go ahead and take the trolley service. You can do ride share. I mean, we've got plenty of options, I feel like. Absolutely. You know, especially in this day and age where you can you know, jump in an Uber or a Lyft, or you can get one of the, you know, those scooters. You can get here pretty easily. I like that. All right, so I'm going to go back to Sarah Petit. Thank you so much. This is a Sarah Petit band. Sarah, would you mind playing one more song for us to yeah. take us away? I introduced Steve Petit. Yes, oh my gosh. He's just a great musician. Okay, He's let's go over awesome. here. What's your name? Hi, I'm Steve Peavy. Okay. Say that again? Uh, Steve Peavy. Peavy, I couldn't hear you. You were so quiet. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's okay. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about how you two met, how you guys have been doing we this band. 15 years ago, an open mic. 15 years ago, an yeah. open yeah. mic. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you guys connected and decided to do this together? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we played together for a long time uh, since then. So she asked me to do this. I'm happy to be here. That's awesome. Well, thank you for waking up a little earlier than maybe you're used to. A little earlier. <laughs> I feel like musicians like to sleep in a little bit. I could be wrong, though. No, you are right. Uh, okay. for, in my case. So you guys are little <laughs> night owls. That's okay. So I'm going to let you guys play a little something. Okay. Is that cool? Yeah, we're going to play a song called The Misfits. The Misfits. Yeah. Okay, this is again the Sarah Petit Pan. She's going to be performing tomorrow. Lord, dirty outsiders, we will not be. 
Petite Van, thank you so much for being here again. This is Exploring San Diego Live. We're doing a preview for the Adams Avenue Unplugged event happening Saturday, 10, or excuse me, noon, I should say that, noon to 10 p.m. If you want more information, go to 10news.com. Thanks to the rabbit hole. And hey, don't forget, if you come down here, none of the streets are going to be blocked off. You can park on the street. I just want to remind you of that as well. All right, we'll see you next time. <laughs>